Caitlin Clark's fans can now breathe a sigh of relief after it was confirmed that there is still a chance that she could play in this year's Paris Olympics. The good news is all hope is not lost. Clark finds herself at the top of the alternates list along with Connecticut Suns' Brianna Jones. This means if there is an injury or personal issue for one of the 12 selected players, Clark and Jones will be the first to receive the call, according to the Athletic Shams Charania. The final roster has not been officially confirmed yet, but multiple reliable sources have reported the leaked squad majorly consisting of veterans. It came as a surprise on Saturday when Clark was left out of the 12-member roster announced by USA Basketball for the 2024 Summer Olympics. It was obviously going to be a tough decision leaving out women's basketball veterans to have Caitlin Clark in the Olympics roster, but having her would still play a great role in the popularity of the WNBA since she is currently the most talked about player in the league. Clark who became the NCAA's Division I all-time leading scorer for both men and women during her senior year at Iowa, was the only collegiate athlete invited to Team USA's 14-player training camp in April. Unfortunately, she had to miss the final camp before the Olympics due to her commitments with the Iowa Hawkeyes and the NCAA Final Four. Reflecting on the situation, Clark said, I didn't have time to go to a training camp and obviously it was a quick turnaround to come to Indiana. So it's good motivation for us and we all know how talented that team is. I think it would be a great opportunity, a lot of ifs, she said smiling. My main focus is on the fever. Like, that's what it is. If USA Basketball needs something, you know I have a great relationship with them, but the 12 they have selected are really, really great players. Despite the disappointment, Clark's maturity and focus on her current role with the Indiana Fever remain evident. Her performance on the court has been nothing short of spectacular. On Friday night, she scored 30 points in 39 minutes against the Washington Mystics, including a rookie record tying seven three-pointers, leading the Fever to an 85-83 victory. Clark's contributions are crucial for the Fever, who are struggling with a 3-9 record and have yet to win back-to-back -back games this season. Through the first 12 games, Clark is averaging 16.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, 6.3 assists, and 1.5 steals per game. She leads the Fever in every category except rebounds and tops all rookies in points and assists. Her 16.8 points per game ranked 13th in the WNBA, though she also leads the league with 5.6 turnovers per game. The decision to leave Clark off the initial Olympic roster has sparked debate and criticism from various corners of the sports world. Figures such as Barstool founder Dave Portnoy and sports commentator Colin Cowherd have voiced their disbelief and frustration, emphasizing the missed opportunities to capitalize on Clark's popularity and potential to attract viewership and interest in women's basketball. Despite the backlash, Clark has remained professional and focused, expressing her support for those selected and using the situation as further motivation. I think it just gives you something to work for that that's a dream. Hopefully one day I can be there. I think it's just a little more motivation, she said. As Team USA gears up for the Olympics, fans and analysts alike 